Hey Taurus, this is Mupai Tarot. Getting ready here to do your rest of October love reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Uh, just take what fits, leave the rest. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, and please do hit like, share, and subscribe. All right, Taurus, let's see. What are your love messages for October? Okay, I'm gonna do the Celtic cross. So, I've got the sun in the past, the current. You have the world. Challenge is justice. Bottom of the deck, you have the ace of wands in the reverse. Crowning, page of swords, five of cups, near future. Four of pentacles, position of you. Nine of swords, position of another person. You have the king of wands, hopes and fears, the five of pentacles, and the nine of cups. All right, so the bottom of the deck here, seven of wands, very defensive energy. Someone is feeling quite defensive at this time, blocking, pushing back. Okay, king of cups, you could be connecting with the king of cups, pushing that person away. Um, looks like there was some kind of tower moment or this person's just trying to come in for a little fun, fun time. Okay, look at you. Or somebody's trying to come in for a little fun and then leave. Okay, so uh, I feel like you are walking away from this though. Okay, whoever this person is, could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This person is just showing up in this very stalkerish energy, just watching, not talking, really not saying anything, not revealing too much, okay? They have a very defensive energy as well with them. They could be trying to communicate with you or sending you a message. If they haven't already, could be trying to communicate. This is like a crush, smitten, but this feels with the tower like a very sexual card here. So it mostly feels like somebody's coming in just to try to, you know, have some fun. Um, now that may be related to this reading. It might tie in. It may not. Let's just see what the messages are here. Okay, so past energy, joyousness, happy. At some point in the past, Taurus, I think you felt free. You felt happy. You felt joyous. Um, Let's get a clarifying card. Now that's Leo energy. So some at some time in the past, you just felt very positive about something, maybe a relationship or a particular person, or just a, this is kind of like your disposition, your overall energy, your disposition was playful. You were, you were in a good place in the past. Okay. So three of swords, three of swords, you got over some kind of a heartbreak in the past, Taurus. You let something go. You healed. You healed. You went out into the oops, you went out into the sun. You got the warmth going and you just healed. Present energy here is writing a new chapter in your life. Taurus, you're you're trying to start over. Things are delayed. Things are delayed. It's a real challenge to get something right right now. But with this ace of wands in reverse, I feel like um I feel like you're, something is delayed. You're, tr you're, you're definitely over some kind of past, past thing. Maybe you're almost fully over that, okay? But you're definitely on your way. Let's take a look and see what this delay is here. Okay, the Empress. So we have two Libra cards here, but also your card as well. Both, well, the Empress. Yeah, okay, so that's what they're telling me. Spirit's saying the delay is... For you to get in full Empress or, well, it's Empress, so as an energy, if you're male listening, I try not to confuse it, but for some of you, there's a delay in pregnancy as well, okay? Or you're waiting to have a baby. But for others, this just kind of feels like, um, you know, you're leveling up in a lot of ways. Maybe it just, maybe the delay is that you don't have a hair appointment. <laughs> until the end of the month and you're just waiting okay for others it's a delay like um maybe you're getting better fitness or health and you only have like so many more months to go before you're at your goal weight okay um because this is about a new beginning and a birth so 
it's coming though because when we have the ace of wands even if it's reversed it's just it's just slow okay it's just slow your enthusiasm might be a little tempered a bit at this time because of a delay because you're not exactly where you want to be yet you're trying perhaps waiting for a divorce to come through or a legal matter okay um but you're you're definitely like, I feel like you have the book out in front of you with the blank pages and you have the pen in your hand, but you just don't know what to write. You're not sure, you know, what to start writing, what to start putting in there. And, and I feel like for some of you to start writing your intentions, start writing your intentions, whatever they might be. Let's take a look at the world here because this is victory. This is big change and victory. Okay, there you are coming up in your own reading. Definitely. King of Pentacles energy. King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. Some of you are just waiting for a payout or to get some money, but mostly it feels some of you could be waiting for a particular person to hear back from another earth sign. Let's take a look. Could be a lawyer. Um, but as far as love goes, it feels to me like some of you are just like you came out of something bad or difficult or you're just tired of messing around with people who are messing around and you'd rather stay on your own and do your own thing and start your life over okay start your life over i always feel like he's holding a big pen you know what i mean this page of swords crowning it's like you have it in your mind what you want to do you have it in your heart you got i feel like you got to start writing it down you got to take your thoughts and your pen and putting them into action about what you want signing some papers as well you're waiting to sign some papers and it's delayed it's going to work out for you it will be in your favor taurus it's just a challenge right now you could be waiting for papers to get to a judge or a court okay so the tower in reverse yeah it's delayed you can't really start your life over fully You've, you've gotten rid of um, some negative energy, some bad juju in the past. You can't really start over fully just yet until you have either this money or this paperwork or something along those lines. Some of you are hoping for um, a fire sign or hoping to connect or be with a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now coming up in the near future here, you have the five of cups. So this feels to me like a grief process. I feel like something's going to come through where <clears throat> whatever it is that you're waiting for or to start your life over could be signing papers on a, a new home or uh, just a new car or starting a new job. There's just something here uh, like you've closed the door, uh, closed the book on something from the past and you're, you're beginning again. So I feel like you're going to go through a little bit of a grief process because it is going to happen for you. Okay, some of you had moving away from home or you weren't able to go home or you had to sell your home with somebody that you were connected with that was just maybe they're still trying to reach out to you or still trying to connect to you. Um, grieving the loss of a marriage or a relationship. It feels like you know it's coming and as soon as the papers are signed or as soon as this energy is finalized, then you'll have an opportunity to just, you know, sit and sulk for a little bit and just release okay you've got the four of pentacles in position of you and your advice so this feels to me like holding on tight blocking not letting go of something your everything that you've got whatever you have left to start your life over it feels to me like you're not going to let go you've got your claws you into this you're you're gripping this and you're blocking someone as well you're not trying to be connected with anyone from your past or you're not trying to be connected with bad juju from your past. Maybe you can't really disconnect from somebody. Maybe there's a child on the way or there's a family members or something. Um, but the energy that comes with people who were not good to you, you're, you're letting go of that. You're grieving that aspect, but you're holding on to what's yours. You're being very possessive yourself over what you deserve okay yeah six of cups in the reverse 
you're not staying stuck in the past. You're blocking and you're not returning to something. Very interesting energy. Now, whomever is, you know, the, the external energy around you is extreme anxiety. Let's take a look, go deeper. This could be another person. This could be this somebody who's trying to stay in touch with you or is trying, they hurt you. <clears throat> Excuse me, they hurt you. And yet you're, move, you're getting away from them or you're moving away or going through divorce or just breaking up. You're trying to start your life over and they're still trying to contact you. But because you're blocking, you're not, you're, you're not trying to stay in touch with them. And somebody here... <laughs> they have the four of pentacles in the reverse so this person is 100 percent now that you're stopping and blocking and moving on and not connecting anymore here they come opening up now they're gonna now they're gonna open up i know you're like really now you want to tell me now you want to talk to me now you want to open up after we sign the papers after i'm moving after i'm leaving so this four of pentacles makes me feel like this person is stressed that they can't hold on to you anymore as well. Now tell me about this king of fire. Now for some, it could have been a king of fire in your past. You could be hoping that they'll heal, make change, but you may fear that they're, they're not going to, that it's just going to be done and that's it. But let's see. King of fire is sitting, oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> the king of fire comes with a lot of control, <clears throat> control issues. So you're sitting here in an energy of um, being kind of abusive and a bully, taking what's his. All right. So for some of you, this is the past person. You're hoping that they're going to let go of control issues or leave you alone. <clears throat> you want, if this is your past person, you know, like you, I feel like you did love them. But that those arrow, those swords got in the way and destroyed everything. And I kind of feel like you're in this position now where, you know what, I love them. But if they if they were able to get over their anger, or their control, or their obsessiveness, or the way they were with me, then and we could find a place of peace. Then maybe we could talk. Maybe this isn't over. But a lot of you are fearing. So I feel like the outcome here for you guys, you're just going to leave this. You're going to let go, you're going to keep going, go after your wish fulfillment. Point blank period. Okay? You've struggled. The 5 of pentacles is the struggle love card. Look at how contrasting these two are. All right? This card here is all about the struggle. This one here is all about like enjoying the fruits of your lab labors and being happy. You know, th this is what's coming to you after all of this. You have you have been through it with somebody or people or family members or whomever. You have 100% been through it. And you're just like, I, I just see you here. Like you're sad that something's over. See, here you are waiting for an answer. As soon as you get this answer here, Taurus, you'll be able to start making some serious headway. <clears throat> Court documents, legal papers whatever it might be, okay? You're waiting. You're patiently waiting. But you you you're at you're like at the track line and as soon as that gun goes off, you'll sprint. So you're already you're already there. You've already showed up for the race. All right, let's see what else is going on here for you. Sorry I've been gone for so long, you guys, when I have to say working on my other lover my other channel <laughs> but I am back but I am only gonna be able to do these monthlies okay so let's see what we got going on here okay mature dynamic fiery male there you go that's the king of wands okay some of you are um, definitely thinking about that person I like I said before you're waiting for this you might be waiting to hear if or see if anything's going to be different with them, with them because they keep reaching out. I feel like are they going to be reaching out in October, um, just to after everything falls apart, you know? But they still have very defensive, strong energy. Okay, let's see, hitting rock bottom. 
yeah oh my gosh some of you are waiting for this person to hit rock bottom that's that's it they haven't they haven't yet they're stressed if, they, if anything this person is having extreme anxiety because they can't control you anymore they can't hold on to you anymore and some of you have hit rock bottom with this as well like you're almost there it's scary for you but yet you're you're holding you're towing the line you're holding strong for your baby for your kids for your grandchildren for your family who supports you you're doing your very best here wealth health and abundance see it's coming to you i told you the struggle is going to pay off here for you virgo or sorry taurus oh maybe you're connecting with a virgo it's going to pay off for you no doubt i feel like everything that you've been through is it, the wheel is going to turn it's going to come back around and you're going to receive your blessings you just have to hold on you just have to be patient And if this person comes back and they're making changes, well, that's great. But I feel like you're, it's the cost versus the risk at this point, the, the cost and the benefit, right? So I feel like you're looking and you're looking at yourself, you know, if I wait for this person to change, I could be waiting forever. I could be waiting for years and I could lose 10, 20 years or more waiting for this person to make changes. And in the meantime, all my blessings are passing me by so i feel like you're kind of like okay blessings waiting for this person to change blessings i think you catch my drift i think a lot of you are you know taurus you're very strong very strong and you don't take any shit from anybody and i feel like you're doing what's best for you at this time which is fantastic it's what you need to do you're being called right now because a lot of you are hitting rock bottom here you've had enough all right, let's see what other messages there are here for you. Okay. Wow, you have the three of wands. Planning for the long term. Abundance from past choices. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. That's what I said. Be patient as you decide what's next. The hermit. Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor and self-discovery. A lot of you are just going within. You're not communicating. You're just, you're silently waiting in solitude until you, to get that answer, to hear what you need to hear so you can move on. So you're not starting any fights. You're not engaging in any arguments. You're not engaging in any conversations. You're, you're keeping things very light and simple. You're not telling anybody what your plans are, what you got going on, what your next moves are. You're building in silence. Some of you really need to. You were dealing with someone who just was dictating your life to you, telling you they were leading. They were leading the relationship or the marriage or whichever, and you were, you were just having to be subservient and follow along. And maybe in the very beginning, you took on that role because you love this person. But at the same time, it never sat well with you. It left a, a bad taste in your mouth. And I think you woke up long before this person thought you would. Okay, now we have the Six of Cups. Children or childhood. This is really, if you have children, it's all about your kids especially not just you but your kids there is a return i uh, like i said of this past person you have six of cups in reverse where you're not going back to the past i feel like you've got somebody here who's going to be <clears throat> communicating with you if you have kids about the kids or just reminiscing old memories oh i miss you i think about you a lot and you know remember what it was like when we were first together um that kind of thing you know if this five of swords wasn't here then i would just say okay well or the seven of wands i would just say okay you guys had some rough patches but this feels more like abuse and de and pa um, passive aggressive behavior it's not my fault not my fault you may you may come out of this and romanticize how things used to be i think that's part of the process as long as you're discerning and you're, you're knowing in your head, okay, I can think about this stuff, but 
in a positive way the good the good times and the good memories but i won't return to it that's how i feel um, your energy is all right let's see what the love oracle messages are here for you taurus love oracle love messages what are taurus's love messages Okay, obsession. <clears throat> Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts, and that is your person. Yes, they are stressed to the max because you're leaving, you're walking away, you're not holding on. Was it me? No, 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 no. Was there, was there a cheating scenario? I don't know. I don't see that here, but for some, there may have been. This person's having, um, oh man extreme mental strife what else time apart some distance will help bring clarity i feel like that's where you're at it's not me looking at the cards and giving you the message it's the cards clarifying the message i gave you vulnerability you can be completely open with this person okay now this is now listen spirit just said to me for some of you you may need to play this role in order to keep this person at bay it's kind of like faking conversation it's like faking an orgasm you know it's kind of like Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, everything's great. Yeah. You're just so wonderful. Just to keep this person at bay. You don't mean it, though. But as you transition, because I really feel, Taurus, you're not trying to have any drama here. You, some of you are trying to protect your kids um, or a child on the way. You're just not trying to have any emotional or verbal um, issues with someone here. As you leave this situation, this friendship is leading to more... Hmm. <laughs> but then spirit's just saying, just be careful that you're not too open and too vulnerable with them because this person's going to think that um, you guys can become friends and then they can kind of get back in again. Friendship. Vulnerability means if you're going to be completely open with them, be tactful with it because you don't want to lead them on just to keep the peace. Right? You guys have a very strange some very strange messages and I'm not really sure who it's going to resonate with but I'm sure maybe at least one I hope nobody because that's a rough side here that you're having to deal with the only thing I hope resonates is that you're able to get out from under and move forward in your life away from someone that just didn't do you well didn't do good by you right let's take a look at your moonology message here okay don't let pride get in your way full moon and leo somebody could have been a leo that you're connecting with here a new romantic cycle begins this is, this is your person okay <laughs> this person is going to try and get you back 100 percent. yeah they're going to try and as you as soon as you one foot out the door here they come romanticizing things because they're stressed it, it's not it's because you're out of their you're not on the puppet strings anymore. You snipped them. Okay. You are good enough. Okay. Taurus, you are good enough. We have, uh, so you could be connecting with a fire sign. Um, could be a Libra. Could be a Virgo. Like I said, you are good enough. Don't, don't you ever forget that. You deserve the best. And anyone who treats you or who loves you, um, you can't do any wrong. You can never do anything wrong. All right, let's get your charms. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got a rose. <laughs> oh, boy. This person's coming in. They're going to give you a rose. Absolutely. Romanticizing this. Or maybe you maybe you grow roses. Are you smelling a rose? Or you have some rose water? Uh, maybe your name is Rose. Somebody's name is Rose. Somewhere in their name. You live in the word rose, okay? That and and I'm seeing here a glass rose. 
a glass rose. Um, and then you've got an airplane here, so this means you're taking off. Mm, I'm telling you, this is all over the reading. This feels to me like you're taking off and you're done and you're out of here and this person's going to try and come back in and um, romanticize you back into this connection in some way. Um, be, be forewarned. That might happen if it's not already happened. Um, maybe you fly planes, you're a pilot or someone's a pilot. Or maybe you're looking at toy planes for a child, decorating a baby's room with airplanes or something like that. So yeah, I'm going to leave your reading there for you, Virgo. Take care. I will see you very soon. Remember, do hit like, share, and subscribe on your way out. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. All right, you guys. Have a great month. Take care.